TFC Fan TV. Oh, I'm so excited. The international break is nearly over. Thank the Lord. Uh, we're back in action on Saturday against Leicester. Rory's doing a preview, so look out for that tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so glad the internationals are over. Like I said, I find them so boring and I think everybody does. David Louise had a little um, bit of banter with you all on Twitter saying, hey guys, or is it geese as he says? I don't feel I can say that very well. Um, who misses the Premier League? And then uh, we've Chelsea have retweeted that. Uh, so yeah, it's good to see them all back in action. I saw a couple of videos today of them all training back at Cobham. So yeah, it's you know, great to have them back. And obviously Danny Drinkwater is now training with the squad, which is brilliant. So he could be an option playing against his former club. I'd love to see how him and Kante link up actually. As a comment below, let me know what you think about that. But yeah, uh, this video is going to be all about uh, an article that I read today that I found actually really interesting, although I slightly disagreed with it. Our old Chelsea player, Ray Wilkins, who I'm actually a massive fan of, all the way back along, has come out and said that selling Nemanja Matic is one of the worst decisions he's ever seen from Chelsea. So as we all know, we sold Nemanja Matic to Man United for around 40 million, um, and he's been pretty decent for United so far. A couple of my mates are United fans in the city, and they are all really, really impressed with him so far. Um, however, I don't know if I agree with what Ray Wilkins says. He says he can't see it. Um, I'll read you a bit of the article in a minute. Um, I personally think it was, it's not, selling to a direct rival is never a good option, however I just feel like people weren't, people preferred to have Kante and Fabregas in the middle rather than Nemanja Matic and Kante, purely because Matic sort of lost his form I think during the season, which is a shame because his first, first spell with us after Jose Mourinho brought him back from being on loan, he was absolutely fantastic. So let's just read a little bit of the um, article. So Wilkins has said when speaking to Sky Sports, it's the worst I've ever seen if I can say, I cannot see that for the life of me. You've got a guy here who was so paramount to Chelsea along with N'Golo Kante in the middle of the pitch, winning the championship with, championship with Chelsea one year before, the year before, and all of a sudden you've sold him to one of your, the biggest rivals we have. I say we because I'm a Chelsea supporter, so I'm speaking from the heart when I speak. Whilst I love the fact he said we, it proves that he's a true blue. I have to disagree with what he's saying. I, I understand selling to direct rivals is definitely not something you should make a habit of. I think, my, uh, I think Arsenal have made that mistake one too many times, especially with Ashley Cole. And yeah, but I just feel like we've, we've come in with some really, really good replacements. I think particularly Danny Drinkwater and Kante, they won, they won the Premiership together. Um, the, the, the chances of Leicester winning the Premier League that year were slim to none. I think if anybody made a bet on it that year, they've become very rich overnight. And um, yeah, I think the prospect of them playing together is going to be absolutely fantastic and we we'll wait to see how that's going to happen. I wonder if we'll bring him on against his old club on Saturday, but we'll have to see. That'll be up to Conte, of course. But we've also got Bakayoko. Bakayoko's been on our radar for quite a while now. Um, and I just feel like the Premier League develops every year. Players change, teams change. You never know what's going to happen. And I think attacking football is the way forward. And Matt, for Matic, for me, is just a little bit too defensive. I'm not surprised that he's doing well in his first spell at Man United. Uh, one thing about Jason Mourinho, we know he loves to steal uh, his competitors' rivals. He does love doing that. I think he did it with Pedro, didn't he? Pedro was set to go up north and then he made one phone call and that was it, he was he was down at Cobham. So yeah, so you know, I think Mourinho is very, very tactical on Mourinho's part, but I don't think it's a massive downfall for us. I feel like Matic's time was sort of coming to an end, although I think he's a fantastic footballer and I'm more than happy with the replacements we've made. So do me a favour, comment below, what do you think about the article? Do you agree with Ray Wilkins or do you think that Matic's time was up? And I mean, only time will tell, won't it, when we, when we play against Man United, but I personally think it's a little bit dramatic. I don't think it's one of the worst decisions we've ever made. And I'm actually really happy with our team and I can't wait to see how we perform on Saturday.